Good morning students. Here I am discussing the 5th unit multi-rated digital signal processing. Here the contents are introduction, decimation, interpolation, sampling rate conversion by a rational factor, sampling rate conversion of a bandpass signal, sampling rate conversion by arbitrary factor, applications of multi-rate signal processing. Now introduction part here. So the topic is here multi-rated digital signal processing. So in the introduction, so we, will, uh, we have to discuss what is the multi-rate digital signal processing. That means what is the sampling rate conversion. So what are the two different methods to convert uh, one sampling data to the another sampling data. Okay. So okay, here, uh, first of all, what is the sampling data actually? Sampling rate means here to convert the continuous time signal into the digital time signal. So we should sample the continuous time signal. So here we should take certain sampling interval that is the TS. So here FS is nothing but the 1 by TS. So here without aliasing, uh, here we have one condition to do the sampling that is nothing but FS is less than or equal to 2FM. Otherwise, sampling interval TS is greater than or equal to uh, 1 by 2 FM, of course. So, you know all this in the sampling theorem, uh, which is uh, actually studied in the signals and systems. Okay. So, okay, here actually we have one signal that is a sampled signal with the sampling rate, what is that? FS. But here, if you want to change that sampling rate to a new value, so that means here, there is a one fs, fs, actually uh, fs uh, value is a thousand hedges. Suppose if I want to take the another new sampling rate like a 1500 hedges or 1200 hedges or 2000 hedges from the same uh, original signal. So here I have to change the sampling rate from 1000 to 2000 or 1000 to 1200 like that. So for the same signal. So here x of t is there. x of n is there. x of t is the original signal, continuous time signal. x of n is the discrete time signal. That is the sampled version of the x of t. So now here to get the different sampling rate, different, different sampling rates here, what we will do actually. So here that is the topic here. Okay, that is very important in the digital signal processing. If you have one signal, this digital signal, that is uh, actually in the discrete time signal, uh, like if you take, a, consider the signal here X of N uh, here. So X of N is uh, coming from the sampled continuous time signal. So with the one sampling rate, what is that? Fs. Suppose if you want to change the sampling rate for the same signal what we can do okay so okay here so listen so what is the sampling rate conversion here the process of converting a signal from a given sampling rate to a different sampling rate is called sampling rate conversion okay now what is the multi-rated digital signal processing system that is the system that employ multiple sampling rates in the processing of digital signals are called multi-rate digital signal processing system. So that means here is a one system. So that gives the different sampling rates. That, that means uh, that uh, system processes the signals with the different multiple sampling rates. Okay. So that's why here. Uh, the definition multi-rated digital signal processing system. Okay. Now here, sort of the different methods are there here to convert the one sampling rate to the another sampling rate. So here we have the, uh, actually the first method is, so here we have one signal, digital signal. So here to convert the sampling rate for that, in this method, we should convert that digital signal to the analog signal by using digital to analog converter. So if there is any necessary, that means a filter is necessary, it may filter like that. That means necessary frequencies, uh, uh, um, those are eliminated here. Okay. It's okay. So first you convert the digital, what is that? Analog uh, digital signal into the analog signal 
by using this digital to analog converter and then resample the resulting analog signal now we have one analog signal from this digital signal now do the same thing what is that sampling process so then at the desired rate and what do you what, what we want here actually so fs1 is there actually but you need the fs2 value so to do that here so convert that digital signal into the analog and then do the process reprocess that means do the sampling with the new sampling rate what is it fs2 and then again what we will do we should convert that signal what is that analog signal uh, discrete time signal actually sampled signal into the actually digital converter that means here i can take the atc analog to digital converter that means first do the digital to analog converter first do the uh, process what is that uh, digital to analog conversion and then do the process what is that analog to digital conversion with the new sampling rate okay so now here what is the advantage here actually there is no specific relationship between the old sampling rate and the new sampling rate there is no need to develop so here if, if, uh, this is a new sampling we sampled here with a new sampling rate so now there is no relationship between the old sampling rate and the new sampling rate so we just arbitrarily select that one here okay that is the advantage here but what is the disadvantage here signal distortion that means the digital to analog converter introduces certain distortion and of course in analog to digital conversion also we have the quantization uh, errors so in that also we can get the signal distortion so this is the disadvantage this is the main disadvantage here so to avoid this disadvantage here just go to the second approach what is that this is the main approach important approach what is the second one do the sampling rate conversion entirely in the digital domain only so no need to convert the digital signal into the analog signal so digital signal here itself converts in the same domain converts the sampling rate okay from one sampling rate to the another sampling rate okay so okay, here to do this process here we have the actually two different techniques so one is the, that means uh, these are not the techniques process like that so here you may want to increase the sampling rate uh, otherwise you may want to decrease the sampling rate from the original uh, sampling rate that's why here we have two different uh, uh actually two different uh, processes are there one is the decimation or down sampling other another one is the interpolation or up sampling so what i said to you if you want to reduce the sampling rate so that is said to be here decimation right process of reducing the sampling rate by an integer factor d okay i'm taking here the symbol d okay so which uh, correlates this one decimation so now here what is the interpolation or upsampling the process of increasing the sampling rate by an integer i interpolation okay i so okay here what is the ty and what is the uh, uh, what is the relation between ty and tx here actually tx is the input uh, sampling interval ty is the uh, resultant uh, sampling interval okay of course you know that the sampling rate is nothing but f that is equal to 1 by sampling interval t okay so now here the new sampling interval is here d into tx so in the decimation so i have written like this see here ty is equal to d into tx that means actually the sampling rate is reduced that means f by some value f by d if uh, in uh, sampling rate is here fx what is that fx by d fx by d is nothing but my new sampling rate what is that fy so that's why here so conversely here ty is nothing but d into tx but fy is nothing but tx uh, fx by d fy is equal to fx by d okay so okay here coming to the interpolation 
which increases the sampling rate means here f x into i is nothing but f y. So from that in terms of t, t y is equal to t x by i. Okay. So now here see the relationship here. t y by t x is nothing but here d here is 1 by i. So I am writing like this t y by t x is equal to d by i. That is also equal to f x by f y. f x by f y. f x is equal to d into f y. In the decimation f x. f x is equal to. Uh, from this I uh, am writing the equation for f y. Okay f y is equal to f x by d. That is in the decimation. f y is equal to f x into i. That is in the interpolation. Okay. So now here these two for, uh, definitions and formulas are very important. So here kindly read this. Now coming to the first one down sampling. So down sampling means here or a decimation. Decimation or down sampling. That means here what is the function or what is the operation of uh, this system here. What is the system? Down sampler or decimation. So here the input is x of n. What is that? Output y of n. So here x of n sampling rate uh, uh, is reduced here by using this system. And then you can get the new sampling rate for the particular signal. Okay that is said to be here y of n. So okay, here the relation between input and output is y of n is equal to x of n into capital M. So how much you want to reduce here? Let it be here M. So y of n is nothing but x of n into capital M. So you have to write like this. Then only the dampling rate is reduced. So in the uh, that means in, in the upsampling how can you write? y of n is equal to x of n by M. Okay, so uh, these things already discussed in the, uh, what is that, first unit. So, up sampling, uh, down sampling means scaling, scaling by a factor, where scale, what is that, one value. So, x of n is there, how can you write x of uh, 2n, how can you write x of n by 2 like that. So, we have done so uh, many examples in the first unit. So, same thing here also. So, here. So here I am taking the example m is equal to 2 here. What is the down sampling here? y of n is equal to x of 2n. What is x of 2n? Okay. So now for this I am taking here one example. So x of n is here. So this is an example. Suppose what is the down sampling signal of x of n by a factor m is equal to 2. Otherwise find the decimated data for the given x of n for m is equal to 2. So here for this what is the output here x of 2n. So simply here substitute the different values of n in this equation. So what is the y of 0 here? x of 0. So x of 0 is nothing but 0. So place the 0. Now what is the y of 1 value here? x of 2. What is the x of 2 value here? This one 2. So now at 1 n is equal to 1 place the amplitude 2. So what is the y of 2 here? x of 2 into 2 x of 4. What is the x of 4 here? Take the amplitude in the x of n at n is equal to 4. What is that? 4. So at n is equal to 2 here write the amplitude 4. Now so at n is equal to 3 here x of 6. x of 6 means here. At uh, n is equal to 6, what is the amplitude? 2. No? So write the 2 here. So here coming to the n is equal to 4. X of 8. X of 8 means what is the value? 0. And at 5, what is the value? X of 10. So no value here. That means 0. So no, no, no to substitute here. Okay. So that means here this is nothing but my new signal with a different sampling rate. So here. Uh, that means here this is the decimated signal, decimated signal. So here by the factor d is here 2. So right. So to understand this one here we should uh, go to the, what is that? So graphical approaches and analytical approaches. Okay. So we will discuss this one later.
Thank you.